Welcome to Letters of Complaint and Moments of Excellence. I'm Kate Vernerberg and this is my lovely laptop, Roxana. Today's letter is addressed to the Minister of Fisheries and Oceans, Canada. Dear Minister Shea, I am deeply concerned about the few salmon in the Fraser River this year. I read in the Globe and Mail on Wednesday, September 9th, 2009, that the salmon run all over BC has been in decline for years, and that last year there was a marked drop in salmon numbers. According to observers in BC, this is causing many of the bears of coastal BC to starve to death. This is horrifying news. What is even more horrifying is that it has been reported that DFO is considering more openings for salmon fishing when there are not enough fish to sustain a healthy population. I sincerely hope this report is false. You have a great responsibility towards the people, animals and environment of Canada. It is hideous that species that have lived and thrived in this environment for thousands of years are being killed off by human folly and I expect you to do everything you can to ensure that the salmon run again in appropriate numbers and that the bears are not left to starve as a result of our ecological thoughtlessness and carelessness. When I read this story, I was reminded of something I heard about a few years ago. In the border towns of Germany and Italy, a bear had been spotted. This bear was coming into local farms and killing the livestock for food. This caused great excitement, not only because people feared for the safety of their farms, but because a bear had not been seen in these regions for many generations. Eventually, the bear was killed, and the Germans and the Italians bickered over who would get to put the carcass in a museum. As much as I sympathized with the need to protect people and farms, I couldn't help but see the sadness and irony in this story. The bear, once so important to Central Europe's image, is nearly extinct in these regions. The first one to be seen in a very long time was killed as quickly as they could find it. Perhaps in the densely populated areas of Germany and Italy they have no other resources than to kill bears who come too close to people, but that is not true in Canada and I hope it never will be. Canada is big enough, rich enough and bright enough that we should be able to find a better solution to our ecological problems than allowing species to die off while we stand idly by. I know that your department does not deal directly with bears. But your department plays a large role in ensuring healthy and dynamic ecosystems on the coast of British Columbia. I encourage you to pursue this vigorously, and I look forward to hearing what your plans are to revive both the salmon and the bears. Yours sincerely, Kate Vernonberg. Today's moment of excellence goes to wool. It's warm, it grows out of sheep or llamas, and you can make almost anything out of it except for buildings.